knot is ready for restructuring. Ango Abdullahi said. Professor Ango Abdullahi, former vice chancellor of the Ahmad Bello University, ABU, Zaria, and currently the convener, Northern Elders Forum, NEF, has been very vociferous in his call for a change of tactics in respect of administering the country. In this interview, he discloses the position of Northern Elders on the future of Nigeria and concludes that the North is ready for restructuring of Federation. He said, the current presidential system of government is useless, must be dismantled and replaced with parliamentary system. Now, what is your idea of true federalism or restructuring? This is what he said. A lot of people who do not understand what federalism, true federalism or untrue federalism are. Federalism is a concept of government. And if you look around, there are many federal governments and there are differences in context in terms of mechanism of operations. Even in Nigeria, we started with what I believe was true federalism in 1960 because the federalism was based on federating units made of regions. At least, I was old enough to be in the university as of then, and I know we had the eastern region with its own constitution, police and other structure that made it look like an independent country. It was the same with the eastern region and also the northern region. It was in 1963 that another region was created, the Midwest region and together with the federal and regional governments. We had a federal system of government made up of three or four federated units depending on the dates you are talking about. To my mind, the system was working for us until somebody decided that something else should be introduced in 1966 and 67. So, my idea of federalism is the one that was bequeathed to us in 1960 by the colonial powers and they did this in consultation with Nigerian leaders at the time for a series of constitutional conferences that took place some in Nigeria and the most of them in London. We ended up with a federal system of government which was effective and my idea of true federalism is the federalism we inherited from the colonial masters in 1960 and it was good enough to keep this country going for a very long time. We seem to have a confusing scenario in that we do not have full federalism and at the same time do not have a full unitary system. Let us go back to the concept of true federalism, which I believe in, in but which was destroyed. The concept of true federalism which was working for us and should have worked for us for a long time was in 1960 and this was disrupted in 1966 that moved us away from federalism to unitary system of government under a military regime. That was the beginning of all the problems that we are having today. We moved away from federating units that were functional 
that we are working as much as possible competing with one another within the same country and so on so what people particularly those who were born after 1960 and even more so those who were born around 1966 was that they could not understand the federal system of government that we had in 1960 and the series of government that have followed since 1966. So true federalism was disrupted in 1966 and from then on we began to fiddle with one experiment or the other. And the first experiment which failed was the introduction of unitary system of government by the military. And even then, they tried to see whether they could introduce some federalism under states because we had four regions when they took over. And when they came and found that their unitary system was not acceptable, they introduced 12 states. Thank you for listening to this news. Thank you so much, um, Professor Angu Abdullahi. I I know that some Northerners are very, very reasonable, and that is the learned ones. The learned and sincere ones, do you understand? But then we have some learned ones that uh that knows the truth but they don't want to reveal it because of their selfish uh, motive their personal selfish motive they don't want others to benefit they just want them alone to benefit just them and their children they keep amassing wealth for their children amassing wealth for their great-grandchildren unlike uh unlike the person of atiku abubakar uh, the, the, the late um, um, Sani Abacha, blessed memory. Then uh, the, the, the not too long departed Abakiari and then Isa Funtua and all of that. Just like that, you know. They, they are very greedy ones. Then what we have, the, we have good, good, uh, good nonsense in as much as we have the bad ones. You understand the ones with human sympathies and human feelings. Okay, can listen to this professor of um, of um, uh, Amado Bello University, former professor, former um, chancellor of the University of Amado Bello, talking. He said it that the, the, the that the Northerners are ready for restructuring. Yes, of a truth, but all, not all. You are actually speaking for yourself. Because um, I would I would speak from my statistics because I can detect from my statistics that those that are interested for restructuring are not more than thirty percent. The remaining seventy percent are still are still under the brainwashing of the president Momo Buhari. He's still busy brainwashing them. They don't know what to do yet. You understand? So my viewers. Um, you two need to come in and air your own opinion, all right? Deem it fit to leave them below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.